Hi, I've been reflecting over the past few weeks. What does listening to God really mean? How does the Bible define it and how could we improve our ability to listen to God? We live in an increasingly noisy, angry, overreactive, self-opinionated world where lots of voices clamour for recognition and attention. In the Bible, James chapter 1 verse 9 says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be slow to speak, quick to listen and slow to be angry. I have been thinking about what it means to really listen to our Heavenly Father, to be still and to wait upon Him. We are bombarded with many opinions and increasingly opinions that are neither founded on scientific evidence nor on a biblical perspective. It is a great temptation to fall into the trap of listening to and sometimes even believing fake news and people's false opinions. At the same time, we are in danger of losing the patience and ability to listen to our Heavenly Father and to wait on Him. We must remember God consistently shows His goodness, faithfulness and steadfastness. He never changes. He is constant and true. We need to drown out the noise of this world with the unchangeable teachings of Scripture to be still and listen to God. On a personal level, I have reduced the amount of time I look at my BBC News app as it was distracting me from looking to my Heavenly Father. It was increasing my anxiety about catching the virus, becoming seriously unwell and even dying. Let us work at listening to God, waiting to hear from him. Let us be slow and reflective when we are tempted to voice our opinions that may be contrary to scripture and scientific evidence. This pandemic is causing many people enormous amounts of stress that is leading to poor mental health. And this reminds me at this point of Elijah's life when he was experiencing great levels of stress that led to depression because of the rebellion of God's people. The Lord brought him out on the mountain and told him he would reveal himself to Elijah. God then sent three natural phenomena. A great and powerful wind shattered the rocks but the Lord was not in the wind. Then after the wind, an earthquake came, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire came a gentle whisper that led Elijah out of the cave. It's when God spoke to him. This event greatly encourages me, and hopefully you too, as you and I endeavour to listen more to our Heavenly Father. Psalm 46.10 tells us, Be still and know that I am God. How wonderful to know that our amazing God desires to speak to us and listen to our prayers and petitions. Let us model our actions of listening and speaking on our wonderful Saviour, Jesus Christ. Then we will know perfect peace and assurance in this chaotic world. Let us then encourage each other, our friends and family, to be still, to listen to God and focus on the wonderful abundance of hope that we as his saints have been given. Thank you. Goodbye.